everybody i'm here today to talk to you about six mirror checking tricks for driving now you can use these if you want to be a better driver and a safer driver let's get right into the video i'm going to turn the camera around i'll be sort of going back and forth with the camera so try and pay attention and stay tuned till the end because we have some awesome tricks coming here number one is position them properly now how should you be positioning your mirror it should look something like that for your side mirrors, which is about the inner third of the mirror should show your car. The inner third to the inner quarter should show your vehicle, okay? And then the horizon, which is right along there, should be roughly down the center of the mirror, okay? And for your rear view mirror, you just want to be able to see through the rear windshield just like that. Very simple. By positioning them properly, you're allowing yourself to... Um, be able to look at them and use them properly. Number two is double check if you need to. Now, um, first of all, if you are not sure about what you've seen, if you're, you've seen, if you're not certain, then double check. But I mean, let's say you check your mirrors and your blind spot and you, you're waiting to turn for like 10, 20 seconds and then you're ready to turn. Well, in 10 or 20 seconds, lots of things can change. So, you have to check your mirrors and your blind spot again. Even if you're sitting for, I'd say, about six to seven seconds minimum, you should be checking twice, okay? Number three is actually look at what's there. I cannot tell you the number of times that I've seen drivers check their mirrors and their blind spot, and then they almost hit a car. And it's like, you, you looked, but you didn't actually pay attention to what's there. You just went, you did the motion. Doing the motion is the first step to checking, but actually being assertive and figuring out what's there and, and determining what's actually there, that's the second step and that's the key factor. So you want to make sure you look, but also that you actually determine what is there. Okay, so look, but also actually determine what's there. Number four, adjust them from driver to driver. My wife and I both drive this vehicle and our other vehicle. We alternate depending on who's taking the kids, um, you know, like who's taking the kids to, to daycare and school and so forth. Um, but basically, the idea is that we're roughly the same height, but we both have different mirror preferences. So every time we get into each vehicle, we take five to 10 seconds to adjust the mirrors. So if, if, if there's someone else other than yourself driving your vehicle, then you have to adjust the adjust them from driver to driver. It's almost impossible for you to have the exact same mirror preference as another driver. Take 10 seconds and adjust them, it's worth it. Number five is combine your mirror checks with your signal and your blind spot check. Now, I, I don't want to be stereotypical here, but this is the truth. And like, I include my own parents and my in-laws and, and my, you know, like, and my grandmother and all, anyone that falls into this category that I know, you're not exempt, you're part of this grouping. But as people get older, they become less likely to check their blind spots and through the, through their windows. And they just get more likely to just go like this, check their mirrors. Like I've seen tons of people reverse, old and young, but definitely it's more common as they get older. Um, just going like this as they're reversing and it's like you can't safely reverse a car just looking at your mirrors you need to combine those mirror checks with your blind spot check and signaling and checking through your windows and your windshields okay you need to and like i said mom dad mother-in-law father-in-law i'm looking at you guys too okay you know you're part of that Okay, so please combine your mirror checks with the other things that are necessary. Last but not least is number six, which is always use more than one mirror. There's pretty much no situation in which you only need one mirror. Let's say I was turning left, I would do my rear view mirror, my left side mirror, and my left blind spot, okay? If I was pulling over to the right, it would be rear view mirror, right side mirror, right blind spot. So I'm always using two mirrors. If I'm reversing, it's all three mirrors plus my windows and windshields, right? So it's pretty much always going to be more than one mirror. You almost will never have to look at just one mirror. It's almost always going to be more than one mirror. That's it. Those are six mirror checking tricks for driving to be a better driver. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.